Number 10. Draw two diagrams of a metallic bond. In the first diagram, draw a weak metallic bond, and in the second, show a metallic bond that would be stronger. Be sure to include nuclear charge and number of electrons in your illustrations. Now, earlier in this worksheet, uh, we came up with a periodic trend that says as you go from left to right in the periodic table, the strength of a metallic bond is going to increase. We said it was going to increase because as you go from left to right in the periodic table, there's going to be more electrons donated into the electron C, and the, nu the, uh, sorry, the positive charge on those cations is going to be larger in magnitude. And so if I'm going to start with a bond that's uh, a little bit weak, okay, the weakest metallic bond that I can get is going to be a group 1 metal, something that has one valence electron, donating one valence electron into the electron C, and therefore having a plus 1 charge as a cation. So we draw a couple, just, just a couple. We don't need a whole bunch. You know, if you drew more than that, that's fine. We just need a couple of cations to show that there's a single charge, and each is donating one electron into the C of electrons to match the single charge on the cation. Now, to draw the stronger bond, I just need more than one. I need more than one valence electron donated into the electron C, so I'll go with something from main group 2, Right, that's going to donate two electrons into the electron C, and the resulting cations will have a plus two charge. They'll have two charges in the middle. So again, this is a, a fairly simple idea. The, the larger the magnitude of the charge, the larger the magnitude of the electrostatic attraction here.